Hello everyone and welcome to our I Pick My Butt video. We're bringing you more art show today and we're going to be showing you how to beat chapter 9. So the game did recently have an update where they nerfed chapters 7 through 12, but I gotta say this still was very difficult for me. Originally I wasn't able to get past level 38 and I haven't tried too much lately, but back at it again today we beat it here first try since then. And like I said, there was some spots where we really struggled to get through. This is a very difficult board because of the frozen creatures in it and some of the quick power-ups that they have against you. Now, if you're new to Artro and want to stay up to date on the latest tips, tricks, or anything related to it, make sure you act now by subscribing. Some of these enemies aren't too bad at the beginning, but gear them up with a couple of extra enemies towards the end of the game and they can be very difficult. Going into this chapter, we are level 54 and we're dealing about 1400 damage with health somewhere around 4900. Now these enemies do have a hard punch to them. Like everybody knows, the next chapter you go up is always that much harder than the chapter before. As far as our pets, you see we're using the elf and the living bomb. If I could, I would be using two bats right now, but these are currently the only two that I have that are perfect epics. We're actually running everything perfect epic right now. We're using a tornado. And then as far as our armor, we're using the golden chest plate. Now the rings, we are using a falcon ring and a serpent ring. I'm a big fan of the dodge. If I had the chance, once again, I would probably be running this with two serpent rings. But really my main goal is, is I'm trying to go in with the highest gear possible because it's really needed. And you can see there, we're already taking a good amount of damage just from some of these beginning guys. Now I'm not going to break down every single enemy for you on this video. I would just say kind of watch the video on it because you're going to see what each one does. Just like the ice ones right there, you know, those things bounce off and ricochet. Watch it through a couple of times if you have to, but really get familiar with these enemies because you're going to have to move pretty fast on some of them with the quick shots that they have. But we'll see you at the boss, we'll walk you through on some tips on that, and we'll go from there. So we are going in on the Bomberman here, and I wasn't expecting him to launch his first bomb. Usually he kind of does the walk around that you'll see in a second. But what I try to do with him is if he's in one corner, I want to be in the opposite corner of him. And that's a good way to kind of just watch these bombs. I shoot, move, shoot, move. And then when he goes and starts doing the walking around in Platinum, like Bomberman, if you ever played that game before, it's very easier just to kind of sit there and peg him off for the most part. But you can see we're taking him down pretty quick. Usually, like I said, it's a flawless one. There's really not too much thought process behind him. So we'll see you on the next boss and explain that one for you. Thank you. 
Now your first time running into the snake boss here can be a little bit difficult. You want to keep your distance because you see that kind of fan of those red blobs. Every time you see the actual ads pop up with the beams coming down, you want to quickly move just so you can auto target them and take them out. And you will need to move out of the way. They are kind of targeting enemies. But as long as we keep the distance on the big snake there, he's not too bad. But if he gets close to you, he's going to hit you pretty hard with those things. And once again, these things do a lot of damage. So keep your distance. And when the edge drop down, move once to auto target them. And then move once again to dodge their kind of three blob attack. All right, guys, I really don't have any good advice for this one right here. I just try to kill him before he kills me. I do try to dodge the main attacks and then just hope that the secondary attacks don't hit me. You can see, though, I'm taking a lot of hits and he's doing a good job of hurting me. So come in with a lot of attack power, attack speed, multi-shot, 
all the big powerful things that we need. I wonder how freeze actually works. I'm not a fan of freeze, but maybe that might affect things a little bit. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, try to kill him fast. So this is the boss that I died on last time. Now I kind of had an idea of what to expect. And it's a matter of just kind of shooting real quick and then dodging. So you stutter steppers out there, this might be a great guy for you to face. But you can see here, he looks powerful. If you're standing still, you're gonna get crushed. Watch out for the ones where you're gonna actually see those arrows and then shoot all at once. Those are kind of easy to dodge if you're ready for them. But really, like I said, he wasn't too bad for me with just kind of shooting, moving, shooting, moving. So. Keep that in mind and hopefully you can get through them quickly too.
So I had no idea what I was getting into with this end boss right here, but I quickly kind of saw he reacts the same as I think the end boss is it in chapter five or chapter four. One of those ones could even be chapter six, but it's just kind of a frozen style on it. So shooting and moving and just kind of working your way around clockwise or counterclockwise is not too bad. Actually, you saw right there the phone kind of glitch for a second. That was actually somebody calling me in the middle of the battle and then I had to take a bunch of information. So I'm sitting myself while I'm talking on the phone thinking, oh man, I'm going to go back to this and lose. But luckily we won it there. Really, like I said, work your way around. Kind of just pay attention to that kind of lashing kind of slash that he does. And really though, wasn't too bad. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Appreciate you watching. And remember, I picked my butt.